hello guys welcome to my channel and um, thank you for coming to my channel once again now um, for those that are just joining this channel please do well to click on the subscribe button so that you can get notification whenever i post new videos okay so as i speak right now guys please just click on the subscribe button that will actually and also like the video if you enjoy it but i know you will enjoy it okay now this is going to be a series or this is a series like i said in the previous video so for those that have not watched the previous video please do watch the previous one because this is a continuation i call this the javascript uh, crash course okay beginner to pro okay javascript so this video will teach you from the basic the fundamentals you need to understand javascript and to become self-dependent where you'll be able to create any type of application using the power of a uh, javascript and mix and a mix of html and the css okay so without further ado let's get started guys so the previous video we talked on the releases of javascript so this is just the previous slide okay but today we are going to be looking at the uh, data types okay and we can't talk about data types without mentioning value okay value but what we want to be talking about today is data type data type so javascript fundamentals we are still on the fundamentals but we're also be getting we're also going to be getting our hands dirty okay so please get ready for those you may also need your laptop if you are close to it but it's not going to be something serious but subsequent lectures would be you would be needing your laptop so you can code along with me instead of just listening okay but why you may not need your laptop now maybe because i'm going to still do more of talking here okay but on from here we're going to be coding straight now guys data types in javascript so but let's talk about or let's talk on value what values are okay but in javascript or generally a value is basically a piece of data are you with me now for instance i'm asking you what is your name you are providing me what your data are you with me now and you are giving me value to a a, 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 a a label so to speak so if i'm saying you are giving me a value to a label for instance first name can be the label so i, I want to know you what is your name so that name can we can liken it to be like a box that is going to hold the value you're going to give me okay so but before we get to variables we are only just trying to understand values okay now value is basically a piece of data and it is the uh, um the most fundamental unit of information that we have in programming that's value it's the fundamental unit are you doing right guys so but to make this more interactive i'm going to open my browser so this is where the fun begins so i'm going to be opening a folder but i'll tell you what to do okay um, I'm going to be using a starter file, but for those that need this starter file, 
which I know you would need. Please send me a comment in the comment section and I will send it to you, okay? But in the meantime, just follow me with this. So I'm going to open this in my browser and just see what I have here. JavaScript Fundamental Part 1. But for now, where all our outputs, our programming would be shown through the browser. And like I said earlier, if you follow me from the beginning, JavaScript is a front-end language. Are you with me now? It's different from the back-end language. It this interacts with the front-end, with the browser, unlike the other back-end that interacts with the web server, okay? So this case now, the browser is our friend, so we can use this to see what we are doing. Even in short, when you make mistakes, you can check them and debug here. So I'm going to inspect here. Okay, now on all these tabs here, we have welcome element console. So we, this is what we are going to be using, the browser console. So if you are on uh, Chrome, you would also see the same thing here. Even if you're on Mozilla, Firefox, the same thing. So on this Chrome now, you can see my cursor blinking. Nothing yet. But you can type anything in the browser. That's in this console. Let me say boy, for instance. Now, what can we see here? Boy is not defined. Okay. So, I'll leave that. But don't forget, we are talking on or we are trying to explain what value is which is basically a piece of data Abby. so since we are right in the console now just watch Sorry, sorry about that. So, guys, let me let me clear this. let me use this clear button control l okay now i'm um, if for me to bring back all what i've typed i can use the up and down arrow key to bring out the history the previous thing i typed on the screen instead of typing over and over again so i'm pressing the up arrow key and this was the last thing i typed let's first name equals harry and i press enter now let first name equals parry has been added to the console the console is recognizing now let me quickly explain this now these things you're seeing here don't worry about the let for now all we can see is two things of which yes two parts first name and the parry first name on the left parry on the right with the equal sign okay so this first name here is what we call variable and this parry here or this word here is representing the value are you with me now so more or less like the equality sign what you have on the left can be seen as the container because we can liken a variable to be a container holding a value okay like a, a cup holding water that cup would remain the water can be disposed once that is done instead of using putting water in the cup what can i put in the cup i can decide to put something solid in the cup or i decide to put tea instead of water so meaning a variable is something that will keep on changing are you with me now 
the content of that variable would change. That variable name would remain the same. It's still cup. Are you doing now? It's still cup, but the content in it will keep on changing. And that is the concept we use in programming because we want things to be dynamic. Oh, this person's name is Michael, but that doesn't mean the person that will have next will be Michael. The person we may have next may be Johnson. So that same single variable will serve as mean or many dynamic content you really want to have. And that's why variable is a very important concept in programming and it's really used to achieve a lot. Now, what this has done is this value here has been stored in this variable in the computer memory. So all we need to do, if I want to say call, for instance, like the analogy I used, cup, I want to drink the water in the cup. What do I need to do? I need to call the cup. Please, please give me that cup of water, okay? I get the cup and I take the content inside. Are you with me now? So that means all I need to do is to call the cup. Are you with me now? And that's why when you ask, you say, give me that cup of water. The water is inside the cup. So how do I call this name now, which is the content of the variable first name? I want to display it here. So there's what we use here in the... Uh, okay, since we are in the console, I wouldn't, we don't need to type this. I want to do this, console.log. So this would be useful when we are inside a, a, a file or when we start programming using the um, IDE we are going, that we would use. But since we are in the browser, we don't need to call the console because this, don't forget, look at it. This is already the console. So for me to call the value that is in this first name, I need to just call first name. Guys, when I press enter, what do you get here? You can get what? You get parry. Okay? Now, I would also use this medium to explain what I've done here. So, guys, look at this let here. The let is just a keyword in JavaScript that tells you you want to declare a variable. So this variable has been declared and assigned a value. Are you with me now? So this value is not empty. It is actually, or this variable first name is not empty. It's actually having a value. Now look at the difference between the variable and the value. For, for the values which we will come to when we start talking about data types proper, you notice that we put we enclose this in semicolon. I'm um, sorry, in quotation, either the single quote or the double quote. But the variable name we don't do that. All you need to do is to write it without any any quote, okay? And that's how we give variable names, okay? Though there are conventions on how we write our variable names, okay? Sometimes I'm not, I'm not going to execute this, but let me show you this. Imagine me typing let first underscore name equals to. Okay, let me execute it and let's just see. Equals to Paul. Guys, yeah, you see it? So you can see the second way I wrote my variable underscore. Fine. JavaScript will accept it, but the, oh, the the thing is based on convention in JavaScript. We love to use this one I used above here, which is called the camel case. You, if there are words that are like two words together, the first one would not be caps, but the initial does the starting letter of the second word would be capitalized. So that means first name. But if it's just a single word, everything can go in small letter, okay? So if it was just name, just say let name equals to 
although name can be like a reserve keyword in javascript but it can still allow it go let's see it okay fine but it's advisable not to because in the long run it might be restricted for not for um not for use so that's why when you want to do anything name you can prefix it like look at what the initial one we used let first name equals to equals to sony so guys you can see the way i'm declaring a variable and assigning it a value so just like i started this less this lecture a value is the most fundamental unit of information that we have in programming okay and now i'm sure you should be able to identify the value and the variable so we have talked on two things here variable in javascript value in javascript okay so now first name equals sony how do i call a variable i just call it by the name of the variable and i have sony i've also declared another variable i called first underscore name what was it guys can you see it paul which other variable did i call again did i do name let me try name paul okay so guys i won't make this video long this is how we declare a variable and assign it a value so all this i'm doing in the console here the next lecture i'm going to start by using uh, the id either i use sublime text or we use visual studio code so stay tuned for the next video and uh, hope you enjoy this please practice this create a variable assign it a value and you're good but before i end this guys let me just quickly uh, emphasize on this let so this let like i told you is a keyword in javascript that lets you declare the variable but after the variable has been declared okay like now we can reassign it we call it reassigning you can reassign it a different value but this time around in reassigning you don't need to use the let keyword again so i can say first name equal to equal to john so guys if i call first name now first name will no, no longer be be what first name will no longer be harry like it used to be but first name would now be what be john are you me now guys now let's see what did i assign this first underscore name to before i think we, it's we assigned it a, a value called paul by using using the let keyword let me scroll up guys let's look at it here. using the let keyword okay now let me go to where we assigned it ourselves okay look at it guys let keyword now if i call the first name variable the value that i should have is the paul what if it, the first name is no longer paul how do we reassign the variable guys from what i just did now all you need to do you don't need the let keyword again because you only use the let keyword once the first time you are creating the variable and assigning it a value okay and but when you want to reassign a different value to it you don't need the let so this time around now the first underscore name is equals to is equals to let's use kelvin guys kelvin now when i'm calling kelvin on some calling first name what i'm having there now is what guys you can even see it from the pop-up here it says kelvin or you can also look at it below here kelvin so i press enter kelvin okay guys 
So that's what I want to point out. Then lastly, when you are declaring a variable, you may not even assign it value initially. Now, let me create a, another variable using the let keyword. So let job equals to. Okay, now I'm not assigning anything. Normally, I'm supposed to do job equals to to teacher, right, guys? But I'm not going to execute this. I don't want to assign anything. So you can create a variable without assigning any value to it. So I'm going to just say let John, let, let job. Guys, you know that I've created a variable now called job. But what's the value of the variable job? Nothing, undefined. Let's call job and see if there's any value attached to it. The job is undefined. So now I can now we are assign a value to job. As you notice here now, I'm not using let again because I already created an empty variable. So this is how you create an empty variable without assigning any value to it. But here now I'm now ready to assign a value to job. So I'm going to use the job variable is equals to what teacher. No, the call job will, will list will it be undefined like it showed earlier? No, job is now a teacher. So thank you guys, and I need to end this video here. So the next video I would be using I won't be using the uh, browser console. I would be using the IDE, and we're going to be seeing our result here in the console. So how do we connect it that we can see what we're typing? in a text in a file and the result is being executed in the browser console that would be in the next lecture thanks for watching guys please do subscribe if you have not and I'll see you in the next video